Okay, so in this very early morning edition of Gav Details, we are going to be uh, cleaning, uh, decontaminating, claying, and waxing this uh, BMW X3. We do have three different iron and fallout removers, uh, McKees 37, Chemical Guys, and Brightmax. Um, you may ask, Hey Gab, why aren't you using uh, Iron X? Well, I used Iron X in my how to maintain a ceramic coating video, and Iron X is kind of like the industry go to standard product. So I'm going to review uh, a couple different ones. Uh, the owner is concerned with these small orange, almost rust like spots here and it's pretty much all over the car and you can figure once the car is clean that on white they kind of stick out like uh, freckles so he was concerned about that I told him it shouldn't be any problem to remove them see they're even in the back here so um, I'm probably gonna break the video up into two or three videos uh, just so I can keep them shorter and keep the attention span of the audience so I'm gonna first uh, phone the vehicle and wash it and then while it's still relatively damp or wet I'm going to start using the uh, fallout removers uh, it is important to be sure that you use uh, nitrile gloves to protect your skin and as you can see I'm trying to beat the Sun coming up over the other homes here so uh, working in a cool shaded area Okay, so we are going to use the Chemical Guys Decon Pro on the driver front door and the Bright Max Iron Max on the driver side passenger door. Uh, again, like in my other test, the Brightmax side is already turning the deposits a very uh, dark purple. Uh, the Chemical Guys, as I've seen when I used it as a wheel cleaner, it, the color changing is not um, as drastic. Um, I'm going to pull the camera in here. You can see the Brightmax is pretty much staying in place whereas the chemical guys is thinner and you can see it running off here you can also see it is kind of starting to color change but very lightly whereas on the bright max side very dark a very dark purple Okay, so the Chemical Guys side, you can see a uh, very light color change versus the Bright Max side, which is a darker color change. And you can still see that there is a uh, product left on the surface, whereas the Chemical Guys is still wet, but it seems to have run off. Um, what I noticed with the Bright Max is you want to let it dwell for a little bit longer. Um, because it's more of a foam, it doesn't dry as fast, so you're okay letting it dwell a little bit longer. And then uh, I've been agitating the surfaces with 
a bug and tar sponge. Um, yeah, the vehicle lacked protection, so it uh, helped the contaminants bond to the surface, which is why you always want to keep your vehicle uh, waxed or use a synthetic sealant or even um, upgrade to a ceramic coating. As you can see, um, the product is still working even after I've agitated it. It's still on the surface, but it helps remove uh, all of the deposits. And the chemical guy's side. You can still see orange there. After a little bit of agitation with the bug sponge, um, the spots come out. So, you know, let's see along here on the rocker panel. Still see the orange spots are still there even after some agitation. So. Um, the chemical guys I think probably works a little bit better as um, a wheel cleaner versus um, a fallout and iron remover on the paintwork. Um, the Bright Max, as you can see, I haven't rinsed it and um, even after agitating it, the product is still working on the surface to eat away at the deposits. So between the Bright Max and the chemical guys, I'm going to give the edge to the Bright Max. So, um, for a chemical guys Decon Pro versus Bright Max Iron Max uh, paint work uh, iron remover comparison, um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And for more detailing videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.